very important first step in your health. I'm Beverly. I designed BevFit. It's a YouTube fitness channel designed specifically for middle-aged women. I'm approaching 50. I want to speak to women in their 40s, 50s, and beyond and tell you you don't have to succumb to growing old gracefully. We can fight it. We can fight it together. This started as a passion project. I had so many of my friends, and myself included, that were experiencing like stress incontinence, you know, that little whoopsie, I, I wet my pants a little bit when I sneeze, God forbid jump on a trampoline or lift, you know, a really heavy box. I did not want to be wearing adult diapers in 10 years. And some of my friends were even considering it. And I thought, no, no way, you know, we can take control of this. Back up and I'll tell you, I have two children. One of my children, I had pretty severe um, pelvic floor trauma during childbirth. I did strength training, kegels, yoga, Pilates, I joined the gym, I had a trainer, I did everything the books required and I still would wet myself a bit doing those stressful things like sneezing. Um, definitely couldn't go to the trampoline park. I thought, like most women, that this was just part of life. This was just part of aging, but it's not, at least for me. I discovered a way to cure myself and it involved jumping up and down. Yes, you had to do the exact thing that was making your muscles weak to strengthen them. It was these high intensity exercises, these bouncing up and down exercises, the exact thing that would make me wet my pants a bit that eventually over time and concentrating on holding those muscles in and strengthening them, that cured my problem. I can go in these type of pants to the trampoline park, no problem, fully confident. And I want to share the secret with you. But listen, there's so much more to exercise, ladies. You improve your memory and your brain health and your overall happiness. Anxiety, is, exercise is so good for all sorts of mental conditions. It builds muscle tone. As we approach our 50s and our 60s, we're losing muscle tone, especially as we go into menopause. We can fight that. Bone density. You can't build bones without stressing them a bit. How do we stretch, stress them? We have to jump up and down. We have to bear some weight on our bones. Um, pelvic floor health. We've talked to you about that. All these things have been proven time and time. I've um, time and time again to benefit us. So you don't have time or you don't have the resources. I'm here to prove you do have time and resources. 20 minutes a day. That's all I'll take from you. 20 minutes and we get busy. We use the latest in exercise science. We are going to do intervals which have been proven to build muscle, burn calories, tone the body so much better than just standard exercise. And then we get on the floor and we do strength training. We don't need heavy weights. We can use the weight of our body. We can use natural resistance with our hands and our feet to build muscle and look beautiful. So strength training, I target, you know how you get that kind of pooch as you age and lose a lot of muscle tone, we are going to target. We're going to target our lower abs, our upper abs, our booties, our thighs, all those problem areas that women have. And we are going to fight growing old gracefully. So stay tuned. I have an intro video where I show you the moves. My moves are very simple easy to do. I'm not a dance instructor. Okay. I like simple moves. So you're not tripping, falling over yourself, that type of stuff. So please watch the intro video, learn the moves 
and join me back here 20 minutes a day, five days a week. We intermix interval training with strength training. And believe me, I think you'll see fantastic results within four to six weeks. I sure have, and I just want to spread that news with you. All right, lights, camera, action. We are here to learn the moves of the interval training videos. I hate when I start a new workout and I'm so lost. I spend the first week so lost just trying to figure out the moves. I want you to know the moves. They're very simple and fun. I'm gonna put them in a box up here. I have 10 exercises. They are the same for each level of workout. I have three different levels, okay? Level one for beginners, level two an intermediate level, level three, this is really when you wanna push yourself. All right, and see how much you can do. All three levels work off the same basic premise of interval training. We are gonna slowly get our heart rate up, bring it down halfway through, and then rise it way up again at the end. The first um, circuit through, we'll just be warming up. The second circuit, we're moving pretty fast. And then the last one, we're really pushing ourselves. All right, let me show you the moves. We have first marching in place. Very simple move. It's um, consistent through all my workouts. But as we level up, the modifier is to raise your knees up to hip level. You can even put your hands here as, as targets. Or you can really swing your arms in this move. Okay, this is designed as a warm up move or a move that will bring your heart rate down slightly. The next move is called side to sides. I like to put my hands here to remind myself to hold these muscles in, tuck this muscle under. A side to side move looks like this. We're just tapping our foot side to side. Slight bend in the knee, very simple and fun. When this levels up, we add a bounce. level two. Level three, we add a swing. Woo, don't kick your couch or your fence. Those are the three different levels there. I love this next exercise. It's called tush push, but you'll see. You've seen this dance before. So both knees slightly bent like you're going to do a lunge, but you're going to slide your back leg. The movement comes from tucking your butt in and under, kind of like a mini lunge movement here. So, anybody see it? This is the church lady, for sure. Remember her? Saturday Night Live? That's level one. Level two, we're gonna do 45 degree angle lunges. We stay in one spot. The front leg comes out, ankle over knee. So make sure you kick forward far enough that you can get that nice position. Great for balance and working your muscles of your thighs. As we level that up, we'll add more of a jump. That's level three. Squats. I thought I had squats down perfectly. I've been doing them my entire life. I did not. Okay. When you squat, keep your legs pretty close together. You're going to stay about hip width, depending how, how wide your hips are. You don't need to be way out here. You don't need to be here. About a foot between your feet. You are going to come down. And when you're at the bottom, make sure you can still see your toes. We don't want our knees out here. You're gonna hurt yourself. So if you can see your toes, then your knees are in the right spot. As you level up, you can actually lift your toes off the ground and that'll really work your glutes, your upper thighs. And then we squeeze at the top different levels for these, just get a deeper squat. 
Level one, we can be right here. Level two, we're coming down further, lifting our toes. Level three, we touch the floor at a slight jump. Very simple. Okay, these next three exercises I designed after some of my favorite dances from childhood television. Uh, first, we have what I call the Travolta. The Travolta is a wide stance, shoulder width apart, and hand up and moving it across the body. Slight bend in the knees. We're working the whole side body and the front. We switch sides halfway through. Oops, tap this way, down this way. If you find your balance gets off, find a straight spot in front of you to look at while you do these. And then as your balance gets better, your hand and eyes can follow. Leveling that up, we add a little curtsy and then come down. So we kick back, come down. A little bit more range of motion. Level three, we've got up, touching the floor. Up, touching the floor. All of these just are increasing in intensity through range of motion. Okay, when we do our lunges, when we do our squats, when we do our travoltas. The next move is really fun too. This one I call the Elaine. So if you remember Seinfeld in Elaine, she had this funky dance she did for a wedding. I love that. That's how I feel I look like when I'm dancing. This next move is based off of her. Alternating your legs and your hands. Gonna kick one leg out and rock your hip. And then the other leg out. Just a very simple move. Tuck here, tuck here. Or I like to say suck your tummy in, tuck your booty in. These are simple to level up. We just go faster. Kick out further. Then we can slow it down with a nice simple hula hoop. The hula hoop exercise Think of your legs as loose, your feet as loose. Pretend you have an imaginary hula hoop. And when you hula hoop, you're not only going side to side, you're going back and front too. Think of your hips drawing an oval shape, okay? Halfway through, we're gonna reverse. And see how my legs and my feet, they're all involved here. This is the part of the interval training where we bring our heart rate down, catch our breath, relax a bit, because the next three exercises are gonna be intense. We're gonna jump a pretend rope, kicking our feet forward, level one. Very simple, just a step with bouncy knees. Don't lock out your knees, keep them loose. Then, as we get leveled up, we move a bit faster. Same with our jumping jack. We start out very simple, one arm, one leg. As we level up, both arms and legs. No arms down here. That doesn't work out your core. Arms full length up. Level three, we have squat. And then we get fun with a few jumps at level three. The last exercise works. Your core, your bladder sphincter, your pelvic floor, so much. It's beautiful, okay? It's called the mummy. Arm shoulder width or shoulder length, legs sticking out. As we level up, we add a kick. We add some speed. Keep your neck long. Don't tuck your neck in. Neck long, kicking forward. And that's it. Those are the 10 basic exercises that make up all three levels. So, you can do this, right? 
you've seen the exercises, you know what to do. Meet me back here and get started.